gunning down nine black churchgoers at prayer. The killer wanted to start a race war, officials are saying. But the leader of the Catholic Diocese of Charleston is confident that this hate-filled act is failing to divide. In fact, it is doing just the opposite. What has happened is people have been brought together in ways that uh, uh, I, I think is just amazing. <laughs> On Sunday, Bishop Robert Guglielmone gathered with hundreds of Catholics and community members of all colors to pray and sing outside Emanuel AME Church, where the killings occurred. This is just one of the many shows of solidarity happening across the city and the country. Faith is what gives us a sense of hope that somehow or another, in all of this, God is present, mm -hmm. and that, that uh, God will bring us to a point of uh, first and foremost, uh, a point of healing, and, and secondly, a, a point of resolve that, that we have to continue to work together to build up God's kingdom here on earth. And it's got to be a kingdom of justice and a kingdom of peace. Catholics also gathered for a prayer vigil at St. Martin de Porres Church in nearby Columbia. Family members of those slain speak not of revenge, but of forgiveness. Bishop Guglielmone hopes that Charleston can be an example for the whole country. Even in the midst of tragedy, even in the midst of being victims of horrible violence, the answer is, is never uh, to respond in kind. Mm -hmm. That violence begets violence, and to respond with, with violence and, and hatred uh, mm -hmm. is certainly not going to make any kind of real substantive change. Uh, has been said so many, many times during these, this horrible tragedy is that the only power that's going to make change is the power of love and uh, the power of, of uh, allowing the Lord to work in the hearts of all people to make the kinds of changes we need. As the community moves forward in faith, the bishop asks all the faithful to continue praying for Charleston. Reporting from the Currents Newsroom, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.